JTV, the newsroom for tech and telecom professionals. And JSA Radio, the voice for tech and telecom on iHeartRadio. Gil Santelis is joining us here today. He is the CEO and founder of New Jersey Fiber Exchange, or NJFX. Gil, thank you for taking the time for JSA TV. Thank you for having me. So today is an exciting day. We are launching his amazing facility right here in Wall Township, New Jersey. Can you tell us how did this even happen? What inspired you? Where did you, uh, where did you get the idea that this is the location? Sure. So after I sold my company back in 2008, I realized there was a void in the marketplace and that was international cable landing stations. As we all know, these cables land in the U.S., but they all go back to traditional locations, New York City, Miami, and in a sense, that's not where the connectivity really happens. It really happens at the cable landing station. So the idea of having a co-location physically located at the cable landing station was something that was actually needed in the industry. So we partnered with Tata Communications, bought the land from them, and created the first campus that interconnects subsea networks with US networks. We've taken all the friends we have from our industry, all the backhaul providers, and now we have them here with the subsea providers. And your campus includes both the data center as well as the meet me room operator um, for, for Tata's building. Can you, can you tell us a little bit about that relationship? Sure, sure. What the relationship we have is that we own and operate this facility, which is the tier three NJFX facility. What Tata allowed us to do is to also operate as a carrier neutral operator exclusively the meet me room in their facility. So in essence, any customer of Tata in the facility can interconnect within our meet me room in the Tata facility, but also we connect that meet me room to the meet me room in this building, and therefore creating a campus environment. So now we have a campus with a cable landing station with a meet me room that's carrier neutral operated, as well as an interconnected tier three site with its own meet me room, and now we have robust connectivity. Now we have backhaul providers living in the facility. You can go from this location to Ashburn, Virginia, to Chicago, to Mawa, where the New York Stock Exchange is, or NASDAQ. You've got endless opportunities for connectivity. And is this fact right? You built this tier three facility that we're standing in here today in one year? It is true. As a matter of fact, um, we're still less than a year away from the day we broke ground. So breaking ground was October of last year. And uh, we put together a schedule, and once the schedule was set, we announced this event, and there was no turning back at that point. So here we are with the event starting tomorrow, and our doors are open. We'll start a commissioning process starting on Friday. Within 45 days, we'll have everything turned up with generators and redundant systems, and customers are actually moving in now as we speak. Which makes me want to ask you, where do you expect NJFX to be a year from now? Um, we're going to take our time. We're going to have customers move in uh, slowly, retail customers. We are courting a few larger enterprise customers that want to have a presence here as well. But in order to do this right, we have to allow everyone to seat at the table. And that means we should allow all the carriers, all the enterprise customers to have a presence here. If we do that well, this will serve not just our industry, but also serve our country in terms of international connectivity and making sure that a SANS or 9-11 won't affect how you interconnect your networks. Also support low latency applications as well. There's no need for you to land in the shores of the United States and New Jersey, head into New York City, to go to Ashburn, Virginia, to go to California. We're giving you direct access. There's no more need to have to make a stop along the way that you don't really need to stop. And you're solving a lot of those backhaul issues as well. We are, because traditionally backhaul here was very limited, one provider. Now you have eight providers with different network systems that have redundant cables as well. So now we have an opportunity for all these providers to do a better job for their customers and the end user to have options, and that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. And um, after being here and seeing this amazing facility and the people that you have uh, working for you and, and just the team and, and the love, um, there's also a built-in, from what I see, trust factor in that NJFX brand. Can you tell us a little bit about um, how you foster that? Sure. So having been a dark fire provider before, I realized the role that we played and I take on this role with the same kind of responsibility. We know that we have to do a good job for our customers 24-7. They depend on us to provide what they do for their customers. And my team of 
folks that came from Equinex with 25 year histories, folks that came from the telecom industry for the last 25 years, all of us realize the importance of what we do. We realize all these wires mean a lot to the folks in the end of them. Whether they're sitting here, whether they're sitting somewhere across the United States or sitting somewhere around the world, we know the role that we play affects others and we take that role on very seriously. You can tell. So for those of us who want to learn more, where can they go? Love to have them come to our website at www.njfx.net and uh, hopefully see more about us in the media as well. Wonderful. Well, Great. thank you, Gail, for joining us. Oh, thank you. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in to JSA TV.